Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. You know what? It is Friday. We have made it to Friday. I'm telling you what, all week long, every day I wake up, I think it's a day later. So I woke up this morning, I had to remind myself, no, it's not Saturday. It's not Saturday. It's Friday. We're glad you're here and didn't just stay <laughs> home thinking it was Saturday. <laughs> thinking I could sleep in. Well, hey, a lot of people this weekend are going to be watching the big game. Super Bowl is Sunday. And, you know, we've spent a majority of the week talking about Valentine's Day. But today, we really wanted to get things started talking about something that we love. <laughs> right. So, of course, we've turned this into food. So, the Los <laughs> Angeles Rams, are, of course, are taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. And we thought, what food represents each city? And it turns out that there are some really good choices from both cities. Yes. Uh, and we got this food, we should say, from Gold Belly. We yeah. ordered it through Gold Belly. And, you know, I have been seeing Gold Belly popping up on websites, but I've never used it. You have used Gold I've Belly. used it because it, it, it kind of sends stuff all over the place from yeah. different cities. And so we've used it to send burnt almond torts to our friends in California, which is, of course, a very Pittsburgh food. Uh, you know, Permani sandwiches, Pittsburgh food, I would say pierogies. Uh, but we wanted to figure out what was the, like, the food item from Cincinnati. So, of course, Skyline Chili. Um, and this is from a diner there. Signature dishes over spaghetti. Now we actually do this. We do chili mac at home, but yeah. not like the Cincinnati chili like this. Right. Yeah. You need to you need to see this uh, <sighs> because yeah, they put it over spaghetti. They also serve it over hot dogs. You could also this have it served over oof. beans and onions. I mean, this is a lot of food. When you pick up this plate, it is. No, it feels it's like heavy. five pounds worth of food. I've been to Cincinnati once, and I remember folks telling us, you have to try the Skyline Chili, and we never got around to it. We were there on a work shoot, so we never had a chance to try now, it. So I'm not, I'm not going to hate on it just yet, but I don't eat chili out of a can. I make homemade chili, so there's mm -hmm. something about it. I don't know what it is. Is it meat in a can that is off? I don't know. But I, okay, what, let's is it off putting to you? Maybe a little. I don't know. I've never had meat in a can before. You know what? I really like it on the pasta. Like, I have never done that before. With You've chili. never had chili mac? Yeah, Gary makes chili at home all the time, but we have it with cornbread. You gotta put it over noodles. It is the best. This it is, is the good. Best. And okay. you know what? There is, and even though onions <gasps> bother me, okay, here we there go. is an oniony taste to it. Like, are you getting the, like, the onions and the, like, it's not a mild chili. <laughs> Look at the face she's making. I was good. There's like a little bit of, um, nutmeg or something. You know what? Yeah, there's some sort of spiciness in it, but there's a, there's a, a, a heat, a it zestiness just spices. too. They don't even like, give it away. Well, they don't want to give away their prized recipe. We're going to have to All take right, that Cincinnati. to the lab and uh -huh. figure out what's in it. Okay, Cincinnati. Yeah. Now, here was the, here was the real pickle. I, I couldn't put my, before looking at what we found, like we found some items. Right. Um, what, is LA, what is LA known for? I mean, I've, maybe some street tacos. I mean, I've watched enough diners drive, drive-ins and dives. Dives, yes. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when I think California, I think like avocado or sprouts yes. or something like that. But you know what? Turns out there are a bunch of different types of hot dogs in L.A. And there is, it started as a food truck, and it has become a phenomenon in Los Angeles. It's the, it's the Kogi barbecue. And so that's what we got. We got a kit yeah. through Gold Belly where you can make their vegan hot dogs. They call them stadium-style dogs. We have their And book. so that's what we have today to sample here. Ron is all about this. You know, Ron's he, excited. He, well, because he, he is a vegetarian now, so he doesn't eat meat. So let's dig in. What is on here? So there's some lettuce. There's lettuce and cheese, but it looks like there's like salsa here too, like hot salsa we could put on and onions and a special sauce too. Okay. Uh, so it's all part of the kit. And then you build the kit and then you can enjoy just what they love in Los mm. Angeles. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. I like that. Oh, I like it too. Yeah. It kind of tastes it's like fresh a taco. And zesty. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> tastes like a taco. Only yeah. on a bun. Mm -hmm. That salsa is really nice. All right, this was a good idea, Ken. Somehow it always comes back to food with us. Well, I think it's really cool since we don't have, I mean, we know there's a couple players mm -hmm. who are from Pittsburgh who are going to be playing on Sunday, mm -hmm. but to have like a, a nice little shout out, a nod to some of the cities that are playing. Exactly. So for your Super Bowl menu, if you're hosting. This is great. You know what I think it is? Cilantro is what I'm tasting in this. 
That's good. Mm, it that is salsa good. is it's really good. It's a great good. combination. Yeah. All and right. That's a vegan hot dog. Yeah. It's a vegan you hot dog. You would have never known. Game changer, exactly. right? Exactly. They yeah. did a good <laughs> job with that. Right. Do not be afraid of the vegan. There you go. There you go. So good. All right. Hey, we want to talk about something we did yesterday. It's yeah. eating as well, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you saw it. Maybe you tuned in. Uh, so let's show you a little bit of video so you understand. We attempted the Mark Cuban challenge. So this is something that Eaton Park sort of created after Mark Cuban posted on Instagram about his brother challenging him to eat yeah. a whole pie yeah. at so Eaton we, Park. We reached out to Eaton Park. We said, hey, we want to take on the Eaton Park <laughs> Mark Cuban challenge for ourselves. David, I will tell you that... Um, I went to the gym after this and, oh, you did. and ran a 5K on the treadmill. Oh my god. I felt so bad about what we had done. But it fueled <laughs> you. The pie That's fueled what I'm you. I don't know. Have you, I had have you done that before? No, right, I wait, never wait, run. Wait, wait, wait. No, we haven't introduced you, Ron. Oh, the whole thing Krista said. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. All right, hide, Ron. Oh, there we okay. Go. All right. There we go. Well, there's no fern. There's no fern. <laughs> Ron has some obvers observations on this, so we're bringing him in for a segment that we call Ron Behind the Fern. But there's there's no fern. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to roll the, the animation. <laughs> here it is. Here it comes. <laughs> All right, now, I was not here for bell. this, so when Krista, like, hatched this idea yesterday, I was like, why is Ron coming up from behind a fern? Um, oh, you weren't here for I wasn't it. here, yeah, so I had yeah. no idea what was yeah. happening. Well, so often we want to include Ron in the conversation, mm -hmm. and he'll just stand over in the corner and just weigh in from across the room. So we, we were like, Ron, come on Ron. over, come yeah. on over. Right. So we want to be able to see Ron. But, but the, the issue is that I can't leave when I'm here, mm -hmm. so that's why the well, fur is Well, you could, like, here, just walk so, out, but right. you don't want to do that. Like, no, you don't want no, to walk off. No, yeah. 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 So... Anyhow, uh, so we're going to show you a video of what happened when I was not here, oh, where Marie, apparently where this all started, where mm -hmm. Ron uh, came in and then hid behind the fern, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so there so it is. This is from like in. last month. Uh huh. Right. He snuck in. And so now it's become and then a he thing. disappeared. And then he disappeared <laughs> when he was trying. I could not stop laughing. You know what? This is how smooth and professional Ron Smiley is. He was like, "How can I disappear?" Okay, I'll just go down behind. Oh, the front. Can I tell you that when you were off, it was kind of like Dad's not here, and we we did some craziness that you probably would have been like. We guys quit cool it with your shenanigans. We can't be doing this. Mm. All right, There's but no then, animation. You're to play. here now, and right. there is a fern magically <laughs> that has appeared during that. Um, but you, you're here to talk about the pie in contest, yesterday, right? Because you noticed a couple things. I, I did. The first thing I noticed, I, and I don't know how no one else noticed this, Heather's pie was like double the amount. The first, the first uh, plate. And no, all three plates. You had uh, more pie well, on your plate than what David had on and his And meanwhile, plate. you were the one who dished out the plates. Like, you were the one who... <laughs> I didn't serve them, but I did... You gave me the plates that were my three. I was like, here, you three. take these three. So, I don't know. I didn't notice it was right. that, but maybe the first one was a different... Yeah, I, a don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, and then what was your other observation? You took a bite of the pie, by the way. I did. It was very good. Uh, David won the competition. He did. You were a trooper. You ate a whole plate of the pie. And then yeah. went on to the second plate. And the first plate <laughs> well, had two slices of pie on it. And you know what? And you're on a sugar rush in the beginning of it. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, there's too much sugar all at once. I mean, right. it's delicious, but you know, you need to space it out. So I had yeah. to stop I was just joking point. when I said we should do this. You went all in. Well, I thought it was a real thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Took the challenge. All right. yeah, Ron, thank you. All you right. can go back behind the fern now. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> All right. I love you. What are you going to do? You going to stay there for a little while? <laughs> no, Ron, you, you can make you a hot dog. You can go. You don't have to hide I'm back make you there. A hot dog. <laughs> All right.